welcome to the Indian Newsline podcast by Pranita Mahajan. Hello everyone and welcome to the Indian Newsline podcast. Indian Newsline recently did a story uh, and I thought this is something that we should have a bit more interaction about. So I'm here today talking about how the Commerce Commission has issued a letter to the banks uh, operating in New Zealand to offer a more efficient uh, retail payment system. As you know, um, globally, there has been a huge growth in the uptake of QR technology uh, because it has proven very effective in terms of the communication and even a marketing tool. So the Commerce Commission now wants all the banks to offer a similar option for Kiwis when they pay for their goods and services because firstly it is definitely efficient. It reduces your dependency and reliance on um, brands like Visa, Mastercard, American Express and that also helps because the costs associated with these types of payment methods does uh, kind of add on to your 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 spendings so the bank transfers of course is something that most of us do uh, to pay our bills there are any regular payments that we are doing are done through bank transfers but the qr codes um in most of the countries like china india vietnam singapore philippines even the european countries like italy france spain or US, Canada, Brazil, Australia for that matter. Uh, QR code has been on an increase. There has been a 41% global increase between 2022 and 2023 in the number of operators that have taken up uh, the QR codes um, as a popular medium. So I wanted to talk a bit about this and I wanted to, of course, um, it only remains to be seen when and how we are going to introduce that in New Zealand. But if any of you have traveled recently and if you've gone to any part of India for that matter or China, Vietnam, Singapore, you would have seen how QR codes have become the easiest way of contactless payments, um, especially post the pandemic. Its usage has just continued to increase. Um, in India, there is literally every vegetable vendor, any cab driver, the the auto rickshaw drivers, they all have a QR code. And it's so easy to make those payments because you don't incur any add-on charges when you pay through it. It's safe. Um, it's seamless transactions. You see the transaction happening in real time in your bank account. And other than the financial features, I wanted to talk about how the QR codes are being used as a marketing tool. Because um, a lot of you would know this and a lot of you would have used it uh, here in New Zealand as well, in fact, that the businesses have got um, these QR codes, which will help you connect to their social platforms. So you scan the code and you can log on to their Facebook page, their Instagram page, TikTok profiles and you can leave a comment there, you can leave your reviews there. A lot of the restaurants uh, right after the lockdowns when they opened, they all had QR codes uh, through which you could access their uh, menus and order online. So the technology, the world of technology is changing and the kind of convenience that it has to offer is is very rapidly growing. And I think it's it's high time that New Zealand has a more convenient, a more efficient retail payment system, wherein you don't incur charges for things like PayWave, you don't incur add-on charges for using your credit card. There is a surcharge currently, which a lot of the retail operators would charge you for. Uh, and uh, that is something where I think as a country, we can still improve on and work a little faster and be a little more adaptable in terms of innovation and technology. There are a lot of QR codes being used in schools nowadays because a lot of the students, they can access uh, virtual learning platforms, they can access books in their school libraries, 
they can communicate with students um so a lot of that is happening around the world and i think it's great that um we are thinking in this direction we are looking for options we are looking for choices which will help everyday users get uh, better benefits get better value for uh, the money that they're spending in terms of their transactions and i think encourage them to just make the most of technology and make their lives easier it would also make us part of this global change that is happening there is a high growth in southeast asia primarily around uh, use of technology in payments um so just by a rough estimation in the US alone there were 81.6% of Americans own a smartphone which uh, has helped in the demand of uh, QR code skyrocketing in India it is one of the largest QR uh, code users globally and there has been a 550% increase in the QR code usage between the year 2019 and 2020 and this has been uh, issued by one of the leading qr generator companies themselves this leap has occurred because more and more businesses and consumers are sorting this payment method they think that um, this is a more efficient payment solution and uh, today i think majority of um, the retail operators in india have that option and also like i said schools are using it as an educational tool making materials more accessible so just by scanning one qr code you would get a whole book on your phone and the child can read it so how how convenient would that be especially for a place like india or china or uh, vietnam where we have remote areas where uh, we cannot physically make sure that we have um, bigger infrastructure or bigger libraries So um yeah on that note uh, I'm very hopeful uh, that we have uh, some positive growth in New Zealand I am very positive that our banks will pick up the pace they will deliver on um this amazing convenience for the kiwis and all the businesses and I'm sure very soon uh, we are going to be part of this digital innovation Until then um do write in let us know your views about it and um what do you think that QR codes uh, can offer if you think it'll be a convenient option if you think you would use it we would love to hear what you think about this wish you a great day ahead and we'll talk soon this is Pranita signing off Thank you for listening to the Indian Newsling podcast by Pranita Mahajan 